Hi guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshesworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today we are dealing with Java and let's start how to use Java using Eclipse. So let us understand the basic functionalities of Eclipse. So where do you download the Eclipse? So in the below screen in my browser you can see eclipse.org slash downloads. So here is where we download the Eclipse. The latest version of the Eclipse is Oxygen. So based on your operating system based on your 32-bit or 64-bit system, you'll be able to download it. So mine is a 64-bit system, so it is showing me 64. So what I have to do, I have to just click on it. I have clicked on it, my software is already installed. So you just have to click on it. So you have to click on Next, Next, and you should be able to install it easily. So whenever I click on my Eclipse, it starts. The first thing that it asks us to is to save the location of the projects that you do. So it's asking in the D drive, with the folder java projects i'll be creating all my projects that we tried to create today so i'll click launch so my eclipse is getting launched right so now today we'll understand how to represent an object using java so what is an object a pen can be an object a fan can be an object a laptop can be an object so in java everything is represented using an object so now We'll see how to represent an object and we'll see what is a method. We'll see what is a class. So now my Eclipse is getting installed. So now assume I have a marker here. So this is an object. I have a phone. So this is an object. So let's try writing this object in form of a Java code. Fine. So now I have few projects open, so I'll try to close all of this. Fine. So now this is the console when you try to open your Eclipse that you try to see. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to file. If you want to create a new project, you have to click new. So when you click new, you will get Java project. So we are trying to create a Java project. So I'll try to write the name as first, first application application Applic so first application so now the eclipse tool is built on java so now before installing eclipse you have to make sure your java is downloaded that is your jsdk is downloaded on your system because an eclipse is an ide which helps us to run our java programs so basically you need to have your jre jdk installed before you try to do something with the eclipse so this is a very important point Make sure you guys have the JSDK installed in your laptops before you try to do something with Eclipse. So now I have created my first application. So it's asking me using an execution environment, JRE, Java 1.8. So this is the latest version of Java that is available. So I have already downloaded it. So in the previous videos, we have shown how to download Java and how to set up an environment variable. So now I have already downloaded my Java. So that is 1.8. So now I'll try to click finish so what it happens let's see so my first application is created so what are these things these are the applications that I have created before so now let's concentrate only on this first application so what I try to do I'll try to create a new folder so in Java we don't call it as a folder we call it as a package so now why I'm creating a new folder is I'll try to keep all my Java classes inside one folder so now here, I'll try to create a new package, which is nothing but a folder. And whatever the Java classes that we try to write, we'll be putting onto this folder. So now I know you guys doesn't know what is a class, but definitely now we'll see what is a class. So now on an overview, just understand we are creating a directory, which is called has a package in Java. And we'll try to put all our files inside that package. So I'll try to create the package name with some name, something like, first pack so the tool is very intelligent whenever you try to type something it shows you you know usually starts with a lowercase letter by convention package names usually start with a lowercase letter yeah okay we'll try to follow the rule firs st first exmp fine now my folder is ready so what i have to do i have to represent this marker or this iphone has a java object so in order to represent a java object we try to create a class. So what is a class? We'll try to understand this. So I try to create a new Java class. 
So now I want to represent this phone. Yeah, I want to represent this phone. So what I'll try to create, I'll try to create a class with the name phone. Right? So my class is now created. So what is this? So what is a class? Class is nothing but representation of an object. So if you want to represent a phone in Java, so you need to create a class for it. So how do you create it? Using class, keyboard, and the object name. So now the object is iPhone. So we have created a class. We have created just a simple class. Now, for any class that you create, you need to have an open curly braces and you need to make sure you close that curly braces, right? Now we have a simple class. Now in Java, if you want to run the program, you need to have one method. So what is a method, right? A phone can make a call, right? A call is an action. So in Java, in real time, if an object can perform something, so we can put it as a method to it. So now a phone can make a call, right? A phone can make a call. So that's a method. So now this object phone can also ring. So now ring can be a method. So now I'll try to write a method which is ring. Fine. That's okay. Now we have some error. So in Java, a method can return you something or it may not return you something. In this case, I'll make this method not to return me anything. So now a method can return something or a method cannot return you anything. So in the coming classes, we'll see what is a return type, what is a method returns. So when I say generally a method returns something, is mean it's trying to give you some result back. So in this case, I'll try to make sure my method doesn't give me anything out. So I'll try to create a simple statement you know, this is default Java syntax, which is used to print anything. So now whenever we want to print something in Java, so we use system.out.println. So this is the basic syntax. Whenever you learn Java, this is the basic fundamental. So you can say system.out.println. So I'll try to, you know, put something like, you know, iPhone, iPhone is ringing. R-I-N-G-I-N-G. Right. So now I have a very simple method and a very simple class that is iPhone and I have very, very simple method that is ring. So in the next video, we'll try to see how to call this method and also we'll see what is the main method. So now in Java, one method which is default mandatory that you have to write is a main method. So we'll try to see what does this main does and how do you call this iPhone class and how do you make your iPhone ring. If you are looking for any Java related jobs, please get onto our website www.preciousworld.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Java videos. Thank you.